uh, the barrels of dye ready for the red plumes. Um, and so it's morning, next morning after you guys have killed the Duragar. And, yep, <laughs> edgy dwarves. And uh, you see um, a group. Do, 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 do. A group of red plumes coming up the road and turning into down the road towards the farm. Um, there are four of them with um, pulling a cart, uh, assuming to prepare, preparing to take away the casks of uh, red dye. So they approach. Um, we shall be just out of sight. What do you guys think? Hmm? So they approach and they, they, they look at Constance and say, so, you have our uh, our die ready, and she she looks up and she she puts her hands on the, on the barrels. She said, eight eight barrel eight, eight casks right here ready for you. We don't want any trouble. We did what you asked. Um, the, you know, I I think we we have I have I have um, held up to my end of the bargain. The uh, the red plumes look around. Look at each other and um, nod their heads, and they begin loading the uh, the red dye into uh, the cart. After they finish, they look over at at at, uh, at Constance and say, "We'll be back next week. Have the same ready to go." And they take their carts off. What are you guys doing? Are you guys doing anything? Are you intervening? What are y'all doing? Should we be? I don't see any reason to. I'm no, just asking. It appears to be business. Okay. All right. So if you guys aren't doing anything, they're uh, they continue down the road. Constant, constant. It finally starts to breathe normally. She takes a a giant sigh of relief, um, looking at all of you. Uh, thank you. Oh God. Uh, I think we may be able to do this. I, a week is enough time for us to to be able to come up with with enough red dye. I, I can come around and and try to f- and get some more some more help from the area. Um, you don't know how much this means to me. I, I, I thank you so much. Is it the same group of guys every time? I I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the same same group. It's it's but they're always they're always red plumes. They they always come. Uh, they've been coming for years. Ever, ever since this this new law of humanity has the uh, that uh, has been put in place, <laughs> Unver's fingering the hilt of his dagger. I could kill them for you. I spit on the ground in front of. She she, she she as soon as you say that she 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 runs up to you and says no 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 no. Okay, that okay. if you kill them, all that's going to happen is it's going to make it worse for all of us. You kill four of them, they'll send. 15 more, they'll take away my farm, they'll kill everyone in my farm. Please don't. Okay, what okay. kind of enemies do they have? Okay. People like that always have enemies. There are no, they don't have any enemies here. They they run the entire land. Here, yeah. Are there, are there any outlaws? There's gotta be somebody out there who'd want to see them gone. Well, everyone wants to see them gone. Yeah, but, but no one's no, armed. No opposing faction. Are there no. any bandits the, in their area? Like roving band, large bandit gangs, anything like that? Criminal organizations? That you know not of, that I know of. Of, Not that I know of, no. Fair enough. Okay, I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Basically, they run the show. Well, you're late to the party. Not late enough. Yeah. They run the show, um, and, and at, at, at this point, we don't have a lot of choice. Um, and with all this other stuff going on, with you know, I've heard of of things about demons and 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 strange things happening. It makes it that much harder on the rest of us. 
uh, they don't seem to be helping any. They just seem to be continuing, you know, business as normal, uh, business as usual. Um, it, there's there's nothing I can, nothing we can do about it. Have um, you heard of anything else strange going on nearby? We should probably go check out. We've been hired to do. I, you know, you hear about things all over the place. I, I know I heard something about uh, over at um, the Atlanta Roth's farm. Um, they seem to be having some kind of trouble. They've been having trouble for a while. I, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I know I heard um, uh, there was a high elf over there that learns of something. I think he, he went over there to investigate. Um, I turned but sideways, glanced at Alexia. I, I don't know much more than that. I haven't heard much else. It's, it's, you know, like I said, there's always some weird rumor or somebody talking about demons or devils or I don't know what's going on around here. It's every, every day it's one thing or another. I'm just here trying to, to, to make a living. Can you point us in the direction of that farm? Um, I think it's up closer up the road towards towards Hillsfar. Um, it it's past up past the road. Uh, I think you guys came, if I remember correctly, you guys were coming down from from the uh, um, oh, what the arm? Uh, moment. The hell? Double head red goat farm. Yeah. <laughs> You guys, you guys were coming from the Farbal farms, I believe. We'll call it Demon Farm. Yeah, they're up there. They were up past, uh, past the Farbal farms, up closer to, uh, to Hillsbar. So, just to give you an idea of where you guys are now, uh, you can see the the, um, the woods not far from you right now. Um, so. Which happen to have the world map cool. on the. Yep, that's what I'm going to pull up. And we don't need that drove or anything else? Hmm? Mm -hmm. I kind of passed out early at some point last night, the other week, so I don't know if we kept talking that drove. I'm just curious to uh, not worry about this. I don't know if I can uh, last talked, actually. No, you didn't get much more information about, about them. So it, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of zoomed out here. Um, yeah. But... Essentially, the the area you guys are operating in is this this kind of little area between the Cormant uh, Cormanther Woods and Hillsfar. Um, where you guys are is kind of right here on the on the on the the edge of edge of the woods. Um, and if you remember last time, the they had mentioned one of the others had mentioned that in just inside just on the edge of Cormanther Woods, there's a a shrine. Um, that uh, adventurers have been getting lost at, um, or, or not adventurers, but um, people going to visit the shrine have been had been getting either turned away, or uh, if they didn't, if they continued in, they they got um, they never came back out. Right. right. Well, sounds strange enough for us to go to. I wonder if there's a spring nearby. So the um, the the shrine is a it, it is a spring that that's what it is it's a it's a spring is within the forest. Yeah, that makes sense based on the description of the on the madman's ramblings. Okay, I dig it. Also, I'm imagining that uh, after the red cloaks or whatever the hell they are depart. Right now he's just stumbling out of the, out of the house. He's trying like putting on his armor, and so I was like, "Oh, <sighs> all right. Hey, what did I miss?" <laughs> um. So you guys, uh, so Damien, just so you know, we we just uh delivered the um die to the red red flumes. There we go. Thank um, you. they took it without any incident. Um, no one wanted to. Yeah, no, we didn't decide to start anything. Yep, and so you guys have now um, successfully uh, gotten her to keep her farm. So uh, the week. she she is very very thankful. She believes that now she can um, be able to produce what uh, the Reploops are asking 
of her without any incident. That is a lot of dye in a short time. Yep. It's a fair, it's like a fairly large operation. So yes, well, their parents were able to do it. All right. So we're uh, where did you guys want to go next? Well, I would uh, wish her luck with these humans, and I say that as if it was like a disgusting word. I sneeze. And I look over to the human in the party and go, no offense. I pretend not to notice. He's not here right now. The, the human in the party is not here. What? Wait, what? oh, Walker is, Walker is a human. That's right, okay. No, yeah, every, is, and is there two humans? Here now. Well, she's, yeah, yeah. she's mostly like implying towards the racism. I'm not offended, but if you didn't live in the woods, you'd probably be an asshole like the rest of them. Yeah. <sighs> Either way, we should probably... Give them more information. See if we can find anything find. more about the shrine slash shrine. And the keyword was these humans. <laughs> right. I didn't. I didn't, uh, no response. I just sneeze. That's it. Okay. So you guys make your way. I guess you say your goodbyes. Um, uh, make your way out of the farm and head back towards the road. Um, as you do, you see. Uh, Onvir and Balshor coming down the road from the uh, Firebar fa- farms, running down, waving to catch up with you guys. I mumble something to myself. <laughs> uh, I was mumble, hoping they were chasing mumble. a chicken stealth or something. Well, one chicken chasing a chicken, the other one chasing that one. No, no, one's chasing a chicken and he's dragging the other one along. Anyway. <laughs> So just so you guys know, and we got everybody together. Uh, everybody get 231 experience oh, for Christ. up up to up to. So you guys, everyone should be at 231 experience up to this point. Oh, uh, okay. So that's where everyone everyone should be. Okay. And the experience you should be at is 231. No yes. more, no less. That is correct. <laughs> and 231 shall be the number of experience. Stop it. 231. Never. I'm talking about dogs. Oh, the dogs. So 251. Wow, that just hurt my feelings. No, the dogs oh, yeah, are jumping feelings. around and, and, and trying to wrestle, and I'm trying to get them to stop. <laughs> they're, they're excited for the adventure. Uh, I'm going to say. Roll the grapple. Roll the grapple. Okay, so I think you guys have two places you could investigate uh, at this point. Yep. Where do okay. you guys want to go? At least one of them Let's is go to both a farmhouse. house. Simultaneously. What? So you're splitting the party? No. I, no. No, we're, we're going to clone ourselves and go to both locations. I slap Well, that you. didn't work. So. <laughs> that would be less uh, less cloning and more, I think, on um, what, what are the two locations we can get? So you have the, uh, you know about the, the spring um, that, that that's a shrine that, um, if you look, this is the one you learned about uh, last time from the fireballs. Um, that basically um, people go to, um, and then either care. get turned away, either get turned away, don't go all the way in, or don't don't come back. Um, you also know about the uh, uh, Alan uh, Alan I. Roth farm. Um, you don't really know much about it, other than there's something. Uh, there was a high elf that investigated. Investigated it because there was some some something demonic or something going on that uh, you believe they believe and but that's about all she could tell you. How about I roll one d two? Uh, one we go to the shrine. Two we go to the farm. Wait, hold up. Before we just randomly, you know, take our chances. Um, Which one is closer? So these are both these areas are just you know a lot of strange uh, events or happening in this area and this yes. is kind of contributing yeah. to that is that basically yeah so the, the... neither of these neither of these places is directly linked to Hill. uh Hill not necessarily itself, no. as far as we know no but one of them is mentioned uh very explicitly from the crazy dude's ramblings which is which which, 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 one? One? which the spring because uh, i feel like i feel like the the main the, the main contributing factor of everything that's going on here is in Hillsfar. Right. So whatever gets us closer is the Hillsfar, I think, is what we should do. 
You said that the shrine was in the Rambling? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah the, the, shri is the shrine is... The shrine is... Spring of Blessed Life, where the haunters protect and the protectors haunt. The water runs on, of course, and must be freed of all, for all. That's where we're going. Yep, that, sounds that, good that to me. Is, that is closer. That's actually just in the Kermanther Forest. Yeah, that's what, that was my next question. Which one is closer? Let's just go to the closer one. <laughs> okay. All right. Besides, so you guys, know, you guys head really south. Um, yep. So you guys head south um, towards the Cormanthor Forest. Um, Don't worry, Manus. We're actually within walking distance of Hillsfire, regardless. But we can't just walk into Hillsfire because most of us are not you. We will be killed yeah. on sight. I can, I, I can disguise myself. I'll be fine. For I, an can hour. Walk into, I can walk into to Hillsfire just fine. I just have to pretend <laughs> to be a child. <laughs> oh, yeah. A very heavily armed child. Oh, yeah, so... Storm I, could, I could maybe go as a diplomat. Anyway. What, so... What gives my news? The, the Man-Man's work spoke of the spring of blessed life. Uh, local legends state that those who drink from the spring uh, before important events, childbirth, marriage, or coming of age, for example, find good health and good fortune for years after. Um, recent war rumors, however, speak of the area around the spring su becoming suddenly haunted and, and unwelcoming. Supernatural phenomena drive people mad as they seek the spring. Pilgrims uh, off the spring go temporarily blind as they seek it. And several people have not yet returned from pilgrimage pilgrimages there. Um, you now find yourself on the edge of the Coromantha Forest at the headway of the trail that leads into the forest and to the spring of the of Blessed Life. The trail is well marked, clear. Uh, as it is frequently traveled. All right, well, keep an eye out for traps and weird magic bullshit. Is there any need to uh, maybe do a perception? Seems strange to look out for magical bullshit. Why would someone enchant a shit? <laughs> you never know with these freaking wizards. You laugh, but you haven't met the shit going on yet. <laughs> to be fair, you I mean, worship a god of insanity. You mean the excremental? Yes, I mean the excrement. <laughs> so you got are you guys continuing into the into the the, the forest I or into I the think forest? is suggesting we uh take a look around first. Okay, so you're making a perception check? Yes. Um okay. Trav just did one. It looks like okay. So so you don't really find anything you're in a forest. Hang on one second. Uh, I'll play the song of stealth. You notice yourself standing on some sort of flat board. When you look up, there are giant faces surrounding you. <laughs> like breaking the fourth wall a bit. Can't, does anybody remember how to add XP on D and D Beyond? Yeah, you uh, click. Uh, go ahead, Zinch. You 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 click on the experience bar in the upper left, and you click on and it, there's a drop down menu. You just click on magic. Magic experience, got it. Yeah. Yep. And we should have 231, is that right? That is correct. Yes. Um, so, Anvir, you, uh, you guys look, in, look at the, 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 the trail as you, as you guys start walking in. It, it, it looks fairly, you know, fairly pleasant. Um, it looks like a dirt path. Yeah, it looks like a dirt path, fairly, fairly well, well traveled. Um, are you guys going to continue down into in, in there? Yes. Sure. Okay. All right. So as you continue, um, the ca canopy gets denser and the sunlight fails uh, to filter through. It gets darker and darker. A um, uh, sense of darkness and foreboding fills the area. Um, the chirps of smaller fauna disappear. A humid haze covers the ground. Um, you look ahead of you, and in a small clearing, you see a human man sprawled in, in, on the ground just off the cra trail. He moans and tries to push himself to the feet, but then he collapses back again. Ah. I am I am going to approach to within 60 feet and uh, ex uh, use my Defiant Sense. I'll stand, I'll stand behind him. Uh, so you're using Divine Sense to determine whether he's evil or not? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be beyond undead or others to uh, pretend to be in trouble and then. Right. Uh, he he's just as far as you can tell, he doesn't doesn't seem evil or malicious or anything like. That. 
And there's also the chance that there's something else within 60 feet. <laughs> How does so. he look, little man? You don't, you don't sense anything. Okay, I will uh, approach and uh, attempt to provide aid. Uh, I keep uh, 20 feet behind uh, right now. All right. Um, so are you guys... Uh, so make a medicine check. All right. Uh, so he, he looks pretty rough, but um, you you kind of get up, get him up, uh, and and set him up against against a, a tree. Uh -huh. um, and and he has a he has a cut in his leg, and and uh, you help him patch that up. Um, he introduces himself. Um, says, and, you know, he's breathing pretty pretty heavily. He still still look, it looks like he may be in a little bit of shock. Um, he says. My wife, my wife, where's my wife? He says, um, I, I don't know. We were going to have a child. We were just coming to the, to the spring. Who, who are you? Who, who are you? Uh, do you remember what day it was when you were coming to the spring? We were just here. Uh, uh, it was what just a few hours ago. today's date is? I, right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long he's been lying here. He's been unconscious. No, he's conscious. He was conscious. Right. He wasn't unconscious. He was just, he was, uh, exhausted. He, well, okay. He was unconscious and he, he regained consciousness, but how about, he didn't think it was very long. How about ask him what he remembers last? Is, are you asking him that? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to assume Magnus did because he said that last. Okay. I didn't roll so well, but uh, I was trying to roll insight to see what I could glean from his dress and appearance. Um, he's a, you know, he's a uh, looks like a, a peasant. Nothing special about him. Um, he has a a, a silvered uh, scimitar that he has, kind of sitting next to him. Um, he sees you look at at the the scimitar. He says, "I, I brought this thing. I don't even know how to use it." Um, I brought it for protection, but obviously it doesn't do me good. And he, and he hands it to you guys. He says, "You got you guys are more than welcome to use it. I'm sure you can use it more far better than I can." He said, uh, "The last thing I remember is there were several figures that leapt out of the forest and attacked us. Um, they looked like dogs, but there was one that was that was way bigger than the others." Um, oh, crap. that was the last thing I remember. And then when I came back to, when I came to, uh, uh, um, Dottie was gone. Or wolf, maybe. Or, di or more dire wolf. Oh, or the or same ones we killed already. Probably or one. Bastards. I pull out my bow. <laughs> Were they on was, four legs or two? If he was attacked by wolves, how did he manage to survive? If he, if they're werewolves and he happened to have a silver scimitar, that might have been thrown off and left him. Well, I'll examine the so, examine the scimitar. Why him that? He, he's not he's not in 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 great shape, but he's he's okay. I mean, it's not like he's uh, he's, he's in perfect health. Um, he says, "Look, I don't know what's going on. I know I, I, people have been talking about people getting lost in here, but we thought this would be the, we thought this would be a good idea. Obviously, we were wrong, but my my wife." <sighs> Maybe she was taken. I don't know if she was taken closer in into the forest, but can can you help me find her? What does she look like? Anyone skilled in tracking? She's just she's just a, she's a young. Uh, uh... We'll assume he tells us enough that we can recognize her on site. I'm, she's I'm sure. she's. They're both human. For one. Um... Two they are pregnant, so that's yeah. She's she's a preg she's a pregnant woman. She's you know, lightly or heavily, fairly heavily <laughs> pregnant. Hey, it's an important question. On first, start searching uh, for track. I do as well. Thank you. All right. That's um, a barbel. Yeah, I'm a ranger. <laughs> wow, I was well, uh, wow. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. So there is there there is a path. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ranger. Uh, so the 
paladin's gonna show up everybody and be like so, oh they went that so way they for some there. for some reason the, the paladin can see the tracks where where the, the ranger can't i was looking in the wrong spot the sun got in my eyes um mm -hmm. so uh you guys see um see a set of set of tracks um oh. Uh, I it am. looks like looks like um, dragging um, two two legs uh, dragging uh, or two feet that have been drug drug through the forest, um, and you see uh, a group of what looks like four legged uh, creatures and two legged two legged some type of two legged creature um, walking alongside that, those paths, going deeper into the forest. We should follow. We follow. Um, and you guys get ready. Get ready to leave. Um, he introduces and says, "My name is Whittle. Um, look, can I come with you, please?" Sure, whatever. Can you walk? Yes, I can walk. I'll walk fine. I won't. I won't slow you down. All right. Okay. So um, you all start to make your way deeper into the forest. Um, and as you move deeper into the forest, you realize something isn't quite right. Uh, the sun, sun appears briefly um, to guide your way towards the spring, only to appear later in the wrong place. God damn it! Um, showing you that some, showing you somehow got turned around despite your best effort and expert navigation. Um, you believe some type of magic is at play here. Uh, Sunny, sudden earth, unearthly shrieks ring out from behind trees. Um, but as you look around, you don't find anything. You see strange light draw you down a side path, only to disappear just uh, just before you close enough uh, space to find their source. The South Shore um, is fighting the urge just to set everything on fire in the vicinity. <laughs> <laughs> um, tempting, but hold, tempting, but hold off on that. Also, so, how close are we? How close are how? Tight. I need a I need a uh I need a marching order. Thank you. You just use where well, we are you guys at. Umber would be second in line and he'd have we'll just use the seller here just for just for well, we we'll, uh, use, we'll use this. in line with his bow already drawn. I'm in the uh, middle. The male armored yeah, paladin will probably be in front. Yeah, whoever's leading is going to be in front. Not imagine, right? Especially since he rolled the best survival check. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh... I'll be behind him. Okay. Which way's forward, which way's back. Uh, I'm, I'm getting there. All right. Um, you guys can't see anything right now, right? Correct. 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 Okay. I see utter blackness. I see nothing but darkness. All right. Oh, so left to imagine. left to right. Um, left is the front. Right is the back. Who's who's in first? Who's first? All right. Oh, can't see you said left to right, right? Yep. Oh, I see now. Front. Go up some. Uh, roll Top. Up. So Reno is first. Who's next? Onvir, you said Onvir. you were second. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take second. Okay. Who's after Onvir? I am. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, who's after? So Golthy, Bowshore. Yeah, fourth. Yeah. Okay. You should probably have the two people with the highest perception, one in the front, one in the back. You know, just saying. Are you Where did that come people? from? I dragged it. Uh, Where did that come from? Oh, that's I dragged a, it out from my character guy. sheet. Yeah, but I already got you on the on the page. But he only has the second. I, I just, he has no health bar or anything like that. Oh. Which is weird, yeah. He doesn't have a health bar for some reason. You can add that. No, I can't. It only has the uh, blue circle up. So energy or whatever the heck that is. Huh. There we go. All right, well, now I can see something. Okay. There we is go. Every, does everyone have that issue? No, I thought, can everybody else see their health bars? I yep. have a yep. red circle with a health bar. Yes. Okay. All right, so Ariel, where are you? Where are you going? Are you going in the back, or in the front? You're going to be in the other front. Who who's going to be in the back? Uh, I'll be in good... the back. I'll be in the back. Screw it. Okay. All right. So, uh, 
Reno, make a perception check, please. Okay, one second, please. Perception. There it is. That's not it. That was perception. There it is. Hey, way to go. Oh, that was survival. Everyone. Yeah, no, that's it's why he were letting him lead the way. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, he's he's pretty good, so. All right, <clears throat> as you guys are um, making your way through the forest, uh, making making your way, kind of pushing through the forest, and oh, it's close quarters. Uh, right, drawn there. It's 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 like a it's like a line, basically. You're you're kind of going through it's just kind of single track style. Um, to a single file line. Yeah. Reno, stop yeah. staring at the stars. So uh, I'm staring at the tracks. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, uh, everyone behind Reno all of a sudden sees him. Uh, drop out of view. Um, ah, yeah. And uh, let's see. Make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay, he fell down really a, uh, you mean a reflex save, or is that a, that not a thing anymore? Dexterity saving throw. Okay. That is basically your reflex. Eh? So you're, you're. Let me see. Let me look at your character. I, I save. What you got? Yeah, I save. Oh yeah, you you save the shit out. That you actually yeah. uh, you grab the side, do a flip, and land back up at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow in 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 chainmail. <laughs> I yell from behind Onvir. Stop messing around um, up there, short stuff. So uh, you uh, look down and you see a uh, 20-foot deep pit uh, trap in the middle of the trail uh, that has been covered with uh, twigs, leaves, and grass. Um, you look in the bottom of the pit and there's an elven skeleton. Um, and uh, so... I, I begin pondering... How the hell do I know that's an elf with no ears? <laughs> I'm wondering. <laughs> from from the bo from the bone structure, it's it's from the bone structure. We've um, seen quite a few dead bodies. Really really Apparently, I've human. seen quite a few dead elves. <laughs> CSI, Forgotten Realms. <laughs> um, Special victims I would, unit. I would absolutely watch that show. <laughs> this is a little bit of a more nefarious type, and yeah. Gulthy, uh, make a um, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Uh, I've got to figure out what my score on that is. Uh, so 1d20 plus 1. Okay, love. Lovely. Yeah! Hooray! <laughs> you know, I just got to say, though, that show would be completely ruined by the one necromancer on the team who just keeps raising dead and asking, how <laughs> <laughs> Ruined or made uh, even better? Made even better. You don't uh, even okay. have to. Uh, don't even have to raise them. Speak with dead is a level one spell. I thought <laughs> it was be a like zero. the house of the show. Everyone would be pissed at him, but they couldn't argue because he got resolved. He always thinks it was lupus. <laughs> he always thinks it was werewolves. Okay, uh, so you guys, um, you guys, kind of make your way around the pit trap. Um, you guys are obvious. A little bit. You guys know what to look for now, so you, you're you're aware of of uh, of things coming out, and you manage to make your way past things. Um, Hook to ground every couple feet. So you you start walking deeper into the forest, um, and as you do, the strange lights and sounds and these strange things happen. Uh, increase further as you tra uh, further further you go into the, the forest the, the the more they increase. Spectral shapes uh, occasionally float on the edge of the the, the path only to melt away the closer you look. Um, at this point, it's really actually difficult to, tr to, to tell which, which direction you're traveling. Um, suddenly, as, as you come up, you, uh, the trail opens up into a small clearing. Um, the center of the trail is covered in a grisly scene of dead and mutilated bodies, all human. Um, their wounds look like a multitude of bite marks uh, made by small canine creatures. 
<sighs> Lovely. God. Just as you start, just as you start to investigate, uh, a noise interrupts you. Uh, coming into the clearing from a different direction are two humans, a male and a female. They are covered in sweat and are breathing as if just run, uh, and have a panic look in their eyes. I pull out my bow. They cover everything. <laughs> Don't shoot the human. <sighs> What's chasing you? Um. We we were came we came to leave leave offerings at the spring of blessed life. Some dog like creatures attacked us, but but we had, we escaped into the fog. I think we call those wolves. Wait, um, fog. I, all things considered, I think you may not have escaped. You might want to stand back. I'm um, myself. God, so that sounded threatening. I want to hear. I want to hear what else they have to say. So, um, they're just they're kind of trying to cap, cap, catch their breath. Um, you uh, you also see uh, make an investigation check. Ooh, I can do that. Yay, investigation! I guess so. Okay. They're talking to you particularly. Nice. No, that needs thingy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um so you look down um at the the bodies uh on the ground um and they are wearing wearing symbols of Maliki. Um they don't have anything of value. Um they don't really have anything. Uh but one of the bodies has a lantern and there are ten flasks of oil um in a sack near the body. Oh, so sweet. You, we can burn them. Um, the the two two humans that have come up are are breathing pretty heavily. They stand back up, and they say, "We are we're followers of Miliki. Um, we came to 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 leave uh, uh to leave offerings at the Spring of Blessed Life. Uh, we were attacked, but but we we managed to get away. Um, inside Do you right? bullshit." Do you recognize any of the bits and pieces over here? I, I don't know. We did. We just got in. We just got here. We don't recognize anything. So you want? Did you say you want to roll f- to check for bullshit? Yes, I want to roll an inside check right. for bullshit. So make it, make a make an inside check. <laughs> All right. Um, they seem nervous. Uh, that's I would the only thing. Too. They, they, they just seem nervous. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just say <laughs> just hmm. stumbled on a on a but on a bad poire and uh... <laughs> yeah, my bow's drawn, but I don't actually like say or do anything. So, so Balshor and 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 just just so you know, um, I I don't like the idea of let's let's let let's let like six people roll the same thing in yeah, a row just to why. see who who gets the best thing. That's why um, I decided not to investigate. So we're we're doing. If we're if we're in, if we're doing an insight on somebody, we do a roll. Uh, if somebody wants to assist, uh, you could assist that person. Uh, so you you would roll to assist them, and they would gain advantage on that roll. But okay, I decided my else rolling. So I'll right. Roll so through. so that's the other thing is, and when everybody starts rolling things, it makes it that much harder to keep up with stuff. Yep. Yeah. It makes uh, more but sense. if you want to if you want to assist, assist someone, say I'm going to assist someone. You roll a d20 to assist, and then if you roll high enough, you get to assist them. They get advantage on the roll. People, people need to declare their actions. Yeah, right. Um, so uh, well, that and that I hate to say, but in that case, the DM said you investigate and didn't specify who. In that case, so yeah. if you're telling us to investigate, you need to specify who's going to make the roll, or tell us that we uh, get to choose if that's an option. Okay. But yeah, that's okay. That's Sorry. just just that just that one case. But well, most I of the time, I assume if somebody there. says I'm gonna perceive bullshit or whatever, that that's gonna be them making right. It. Yeah, right. Well, I I didn't didn't mean Orkinus's role. Uh, he did he did the right the, thing. The, the the investigation was less. That's less of an issue. At at that that it's more of when you're talking to someone, mm-hmm. right? Or yep. something is a it, there's a point where you're trying to there's a a point that you're trying to make a role to gain information or something like that. Yep. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, because it, it, yeah. essentially, like, 
if you're doing an insight on somebody, uh, you're trying to gain information, and then the next person comes, and then the next person, you know, you see what I'm saying? That, that yeah. that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, it's, it's no problem. Um, so you, you guys don't really get. So if somebody wants to roll to assist, uh, orc in this, you guys roll it. Roll, somebody roll a d20 to assist one person. So who, who who's it, who's gonna is somebody going to assist? Well, only okay, okay, fine. Are you also? Are we rolling? He rolled inside by himself. Yeah. And okay. There all right. was no need I'll to assist. assist. I'll assist. All right. So, Orc, if you want to roll again with exam, roll again since you got advantage from assistance, you can. To see if you get any higher. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so yeah. So ba basically, you 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 guys see, you think they're they are nervous, uh, but something's, that's about all you can tell. Yeah, something's off, but we're not sure what. So I narrow my eyes a bit, but I don't see anything. So once they catch their breath, they they're looking at you and they're saying, uh, "Come with us." We, we heard this woman crying in 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 this direction. Um, we we're heading back towards the towards the spring. Um, we we heard her. We heard someone crying over there, and at that at that, uh, Whittle perks up and says, "That's got to be my wife." Um, I'm on my way. and he's, he 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 give it. He begins moving in that direction. Oliver starts to follow, but draws a short short sword. Uh, this is Ara would come with it. She okay. she feels this is a bit fishy, but yeah. far too convenient. The the sun is setting in the wrong direction. Everything about this is fishy. Yeah, All right. he's got a point. So, you, so you guys uh start heading towards, following them towards uh where they're directing you. Um, you guys start walking toward walking behind them. Uh, as you do, um, the you see, you see them starting to stop, and it looks like they're they're swatting at something or, or looking around trying to see what there's there's something that's that's uh that's it looks like not, not necessarily attacking but they're almost like they're they gotta fly around or something like that they're they're swatting around them trying to 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 you know swearing and snarling at things did we um take though that what? those flasks of oil with us yes no, was both okay. alive, but... yeah. uh, um, i have oil as well okay so uh, how far away are they from us? You guys are all uh, in line. What? Everybody went invisible. I know. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right. Um, oh, hey. So okay. they are in front of you, and uh, they are uh, uh, flinging their hands back and forth, looking at things, and obviously getting uh, angry and frustrated. And uh, as they do, um, you see them begin to change. God. Um, well, I guess I don't need to bother with my divine sense since I can see the change. <laughs> um, yeah. They turn into... Uh, you see them turn into what look like um, creatures, wolves, essentially, or jackals on two, on two legs. <sighs> Okay, so who who grabbed that uh, scimitar again? What scimitar? Sickle. No, no, oh, there's, there's a, a scimitar, so scimitar, the scimitar. handed over. There yeah. is a scimitar. You guys have a scimitar and a sickle. Oh. Uh, I'm not proficient in either. I'm, is a scimitar two-handed or one-handed? One. one. 
But it's also yeah, probably scimitar, like scimitar is scimitar is 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 one. Yes. Um. All right. So everybody, roll your initiative, and if you remember to do the thing I showed you guys last week, if you select your your um token and do that that roll to send it into. Just like that. Yep. Send it into. You will get it to do that. Yeah, but it rolled that. better than I did. So. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna oh, tell me. Oh, you want uh, I said roll better than I did. Yes. <laughs> no. Shit. Well, 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 uh, what's his name? Whittle. Witcher? Whittle? Whittle. Yeah. He didn't turn in he didn't turn into a guy. No, he is he is at this point kind of cowering in the back. Uh, he is peeing himself. Yeah. Uh, does anybody still have that command? Yeah, yeah. I'll, it's uh, in the it's in the thread. Uh, and uh, I'll I'll put it in. I'll just put it into. I'll just whisper it to have. Yeah. So it's roll the number. That's and then hand symbol. Open for open. Or yeah, replace a plus two with whatever your initiative is. I didn't get anything. With your token selected. Oh, I sent you a whisper in the in Discord. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay, that works. How do I add my initiative to my dude, or do I just need a... Um, a command. So you select I rolled yourself. a 12. So if you look in the thread in the... Um, on the forums, there's a command you can roll. To... So I just need to re-roll. Is what you're saying? Oh, actually, what you can do is think if you if you you did the click thing in your in your um yeah. um so you click your your token and roll it. Mm -hmm. But I'll just add it. I'll just add you in there. Okay, I see. So uh, I just forgot to click. I forgot to select my token first. Yes, you have to. You have to select your token first. Gotcha. Everybody got initiative? Looks yeah. like it. Oh. Ah, why are your magic boxes appearing? When you mouse over initiative, you can see the box that's selected. When you see four people oh, have a seven snap. on your initiative. Do you want us to see their initiative as well? Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. We'll figure um, it out one way or another. Right. So, Onvir, you are up first. Okay, okay. I specified I had my short sword out, so that's unfortunate. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's. Going to draw and then throw. Okay. So which one are you attacking? Uh, that guy. Okay. All right. Make your nice. No sneak attack though. Why is that on? Oh, I forgot to uncheck it. Fuck. Yeah, you would not get sneak attacked. So ignore the uh, eight from sneak attack. It's just the four plus the two. But you got a natural twenty, right? Yeah, yeah. you got a critical. So you get. Is that taking? That's not taking your net, your crit damage into that, is it? Yes, it is. It automatic. So that that thing. Uh, ignore the sneak attack section that says sneak attack because that's literally uh -huh. from a global damage modifier. It's just the one underneath. So if you mess over it, you can see the roll put out. So the first four is I rolled a one on the four on the d four and plus three, and then the next next one is just on the d four. It's just... okay. so I did eight right. damage. So on six, the... six damage. Yeah, six damage. Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I'll expend the rest of my move. All right. So uh, 
this is uh, just standard piercing damage? Yes. Okay. So uh, as you you see it, your your dagger, you throw your dagger. Uh, it hits hits the um, the creature in the chest. Um, when it does, uh, you see it look down at the dagger, pull it out, throw it on the ground, and the the wound that was there just almost instantly closes up. Did not seem to have any effect. Fuck. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, shit. Okay, well, I use the rest of my movement to back up there, so... Yeah. Um, I think I used all of it. Let me do... I've technically got five feet more, so I'll put my... Okay. Alright, so... Yezu, you're up. All right, move to get a better line of sight and shoot the north one with a uh, Eldritch Blast. So that's, this one? A, yeah, it doesn't uh, matter. All right. So you fire your Eldritch Blast. You channel your energy. Send it at, at the at the jackal at the the, the jackal looking thing standing on two legs. Um, and you just manage to like it flies. Far right and uh, hits a hits a tree in the in the forest, uh, d- doing a, a no damage. Oh, well, it does damage to the tree. <laughs> <laughs> you you see the tree burning with like a little bit of uh, you know black fire. Um, the the nature gods are upset with you. Uh, all right, Goddamn. I'll shore. All right. Remind me again how I do this. Sorry. So you you want to get line of sight because right now you're gonna have to step a little bit aside because uh, you're yeah, not gonna have many, line of sight. How many boxes can I move? So each each box is five feet. Uh, your movement I think is probably thirty feet. Yeah. Okay. If you want, I can't when see. you right if if you right click, well if you pick oh, them up and then the right click. Make sure you have to oh, select yeah. to align. Boss of Madness, when you pick up your token, you, like you click and hold, if you right click, you can do a movement node thing. So you can do that. If you watch my, you can do that. Movement node. Did you see that? What I just did? Oh, nope. like, mo- like changing their uh, orientation. No. Did you not see my guy move around the map? I saw nope. yeah. around. Well, I saw somebody move. Onvir is my guy. Uh, I didn't see you move. That's weird. You did not move. Did if you, you that move, oh, that yeah, there you go. Yeah. But yeah. I follow the path made a right angle, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So to do that, you just when you pick them up, your token, you right click on every square you want to drop them in, and then it'll give you a little node and tell you how far. So you don't have to guess. Cool. Yeah, right. exactly. When you hold X, you can see what you moved previously. Well, I'm not going to move a whole ton anyway, because I got, like, ridiculous. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it there. I can line up sight on one of these. Okay. Uh, pretty easy. We'll just do a fireball. You're going to do a fireball or firebolt? Bolt. Firebolt. Okay. So roll your attack. That's Maybe a twelve. Which one are you that. which one are you attacking? Uh the one on the right. The, the southeastern one. That one? No, the other one. Southeastern. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, the okay. one you marked right. earlier. Okay. Um and that was a twelve. Uh that just barely hits. Um so go ahead and roll your damage. Was it uh, 1d10? Or... Uh, I believe that's correct. Take that. Wait. Take that, you right. son of a bitch. Come on, Yazoo, catch up. <laughs> so you roll, So you uh, sling a firebolt at uh, the creature, um, and when it strikes it, you hear a, hear a howl, 
and uh, catches its fur on fire, and you do see that it does uh, does hurt That's it right. quite a bit. Yeah, fire. Fire works on everything. Except when it I cannot wait until our next enemy is a fire elemental. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. he's not wrong, though. Fire works on everything. That's right. I'll just use Mage Hand on that. I'll just jerk it off to death. Jerk it <laughs> off to death. Okay. Um, that might take all right. a while. So, uh, Walker, you're up. Where's that, where's that scimitar? You have it, apparently. All right. By popular demand, I now have a scimitar. Okay. Let's see. I think. So, actually, where the hell? I, I'm kind of wondering, why would they... If if it if they are weak against it, why are they be so willing to give? No, the they didn't guy, give it to he, you. They didn't give it to us. The uh, dude with his missing, the dude who's missing a wife gave it to. Us. Whittle, yeah, Whittle where, gave it where to is you. he? Oh, uh, he's, he's a fucking in the back. cowering in the back. He he's uh, okay. he's uh he is a peasant. Cowering. He's right there. He, himself. He's, he's hanging back uh, in the back. He's not he's not he's not he's not, he's not assisting. Well, he he he's not that he's not assisting. He's just kind of. He's a he's a peasant with no weapons and no skill in adventuring or fighting. So meat shield, Got and it. he's hurt. Got to start somewhere. Uh, well, I'm not quite close enough, or rather, I want someone else to move up first. So I'm gonna go ahead and move. So you can also hold your action until someone else starts. Someone else goes, um, if you want. Uh, I'll hold my action until Gulthy goes. Okay. DM right. ruling. Now? Say what? He is a DM. You... I, I, so I was just wondering if your DM ruling that is separate from... It okay. works slightly different in 5e normally, but whatever. I thought you could hold your action. You can specify you an action to trigger upon someone else's action, but not hold your actual action. So, like, for example, if we're attacking a particular guy mm -hmm. and I want to aid someone else in their attack, I can go, I will... Spend my action aiding this person when they attack this creature, but you can't go. I'm just going to hold my action because you still have to. You still have to take your movement during your turn, according to Five E base rules, raw rules. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so, uh, in that case, all right. I was thinking. I was. I was thinking there was a uh, delay action. Uh, no, it's not quite the same. Oh, that was a, that was, I guess that was a thing in Fourth Edition, wasn't there? Yeah, Fourth and Three Point Five. Um, okay. All right. Yeah, so like it, it just works slightly differently. So you can still like hold your action. I put the air quotes, but it's basically right. I specify when my action goes for whoever else in the turn order. But you still have to it's move like a trigger. before. Yeah, yeah. It's it, so it's a trigger. So you you could you could say when Golfi engages, I I'm gonna fire my bow. Yes. Uh, so I was hoping to do something okay. melee related. Uh, well, it's you can you can do now, something. I might as well. You can do something melee related too, but you know it. it it's not gonna make a difference. I was gonna say. Yeah. I assume I can't say whenever Golthy moves up and attacks something, I will move up and attack that same target. I assume that's not a thing. I that's... think like I think you have to. I think it's just action, not move. Yeah, yeah it's just action, not move. I case, mean, uh, DM can rule it otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just uh. So Magnus uh crispified the one on the right, right? That's not dead. Uh, on the south side. So I'm going to scooch a little bit guys. closer, but then still fire my point at it. See how that does. All right. Maybe bang this fire. Go ahead and roll for your attack. All right. Uh, you fire your bow. Um, it does hit it in its chest. It take it steps back for a second. Uh, looks down at the arrow, breaks it off. Um, throws it off to the side, and uh. <laughs> You see that it does not make have any on the on okay. it. Physical attacks don't seem to be working on these things. Not in the normal sense of the term. Although you might be able to That's all I got, man. Right? Well I can't I don't wanna stick my neck out when I don't even when they haven't even gone yet. I right. have an idea. So Golfy, you're up. Uh, this dude's the one who's not on fire, right? Correct. And at least two of us have silver weapons. All right. Uh, you have Walker has a. Uh, who a, has the sickle? 
whoever I picked it up. You. Uh, no, I don't have the sickle. Never know. Uh, no, I, I thought... Maybe it's also Alexi. me. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I, I will let you guys as a free action, whoever has the sickle, hand it off to Gulfy. So. I don't want it. I just want to make sure that someone okay. had it equipped. I'll, okay. I'll have it. All right. All right. If you can make two attacks, if you have the two attack. I do. Uh, okay. Now I'm going to grapple the one that's not on fire. I'm going to rage, okay. and I'm going to grapple that one. Rage grapple! So you go into a rage, and you, you going, do a rage grapple. He's going to grapple. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's going to grapple. Uh, advantage on strength checks. Yep. And that's what... That's roll two, right? Is advantage? Yes, advantage gives you uh, strength checks. Yep. Uh, higher. Okay. The hell is my strength roll? But you make an attack roll to to see if you can see if you can can grapple it, and then you make a uh, a strength roll to actually grapple it. Okay, my attack roll will just be my one d twenty plus my strength um, and my proficiency, and or proficiency? just. Hang on one second. Do we actually know what these things are? Assholes. Well, I, it, it's normally so. Uh, oh, these things? You mean the jackals? Uh, we don't probably know exactly wear they probably are. wear jackals. If I'm gonna be, they're probably any, assholes. Look, there's just, no, no. no, no, they're their jackals. They're right look, there. Hush. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Actually, can we do like Wait. a perception check or something to figure out what we're actually fighting? You can on your turn. Wait. So you yeah, you do you do uh, you do do a uh, a strength check. That's my that's my my bad. Oh, so okay. It's a it's a contest contested roll. Yeah, contested yeah. strength checks. Uh, so it's one d twenty plus five then for me. Plus your I strength, think. yep. And you have it and you have advantage, correct? Does a perception check take the place of your? Hang, hang on one second. One thing at a time. So you you have 17. a seventeen. Yes. All right. Uh, so he rolled a uh, fifteen ha! deck. Uh, so he is considered grappled. Awesome. Um. All right. So we will have disadvantage on uh, uh, the saving throws, and you have advantage when you attack him. Oh. All right, sneak attack, motherfucker! And yes, Andrea gets sneak attack. All right, we'll see if that can. Uh... All right, so uh, buddy, who you just uh, grappled, is going to attempt to uh, break his grapple. Um, and all right, I have so, the rule strength check. Then, yeah, you make a uh, you make a strength check. With advantage. With advantage, correct. Huh. I think yeah, he, I'll that, take that is, first one. He is, he is he is not breaking out of that strength check out of that grapple. He's not breaking out of that rapple. Or that rapple, correct. If All I'm right. correct, the other one's on fire or needs to have dexterity check the break to uh stop being on I don't I don't think that's think... what Firebolt does. I'm not sure if, I don't think Firebolt actually sets them on fire. It just sets oh, you okay. it. Yeah. It's like Only being hit by a brand. Yeah, fireball does, I believe, but firebolt oh, doesn't. Okay. It needs to be a flammable object for it to catch fire with fireball. I mean, fur can be flammable. All right, so Ariel, you're up. I will cast uh, fairy fire, so just the two of them get hit, not uh. Okay. Not goal thief. So... so they need to make dexterity uh, checks or be... Um... Very fired. Very fired, yes. Yay. Also gives advantage on attacks, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So you're centering it like here, I guess? 20 foot yeah. square? And I believe the guy who is grappled um, does not have... has disadvantage. He already has disadvantage, but yeah. Yeah. Uh... Oh yes. Well, no, he wouldn't have disadvantage on this. Well, it's a saving throw. I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah, he would. Yeah, throw. I guess he would. He he would have a disadvantage on saving. Yep. Uh, okay. All right. 
Uh, so let's grab it's grappled. And that helps. And what's the DC? The DC is 13. Okay. Uh, he is very fired. And what about the other one? You're getting there. And you said 13? Yeah. All right, he uh he does succeed his saving throw. All right, so which one succeeded? So he, he is uh the one on the on the right. He the <laughs> ones that have the the marks on them, the little purple pink mark. He is oh, he I is very now. fired, very fired and grappled. Very grappled. Very grappled. The All disgrappled right. one. And then I will, as a bonus action, give Yuzu uh, um my bardic inspiration. Are you, okay. are you gonna sing a little I song. I that that killing the tree bit, and <laughs> I know he wasn't aiming for the tree. Are you sure he wasn't of... aiming for the tree? Are, are you gonna give him have, give him a nice song, a little little ditty? <laughs> I'll bust out the the violin. All right. So you play a, a song of inspiration on your viral violin, and. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the thing misses. I, I do the uh, wah wah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, I say yeah. So Yezu takes a uh, a uh, inspiration. One d six of inspiration. All right. Yeah, hold on. Let me link it. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a short war like this. Why is it whispering you? everything to you? It's uh, you've got it in the in the yeah I, you've got it in the um uh the macro. My entire character sheet is is whispering everything oh, to you. Your character sheet. If it's a character sheet, go to the settings cog, and then mm-hmm. far right column there is NPC role queries whisper roles to GM. You said that to toggle or off or never or whatever. It's always whisper roles. That's what it's doing. Okay. Yeah. Ah. I put it to toggle so I can either do straight to GM or to public. Yeah. But that's person preference. Of course. Okay. Now I set to toggle. Now okay. people will be able to see my. All right. So, um. Anyways, you get a 1d6 inspiration die uh, that you can use on attacks, saving throws, that. Um, all right. So, Reno, you are up. Oh, okay. Did you just do like a line of coke or something? <laughs> <laughs> Because I heard. That's what Reno was doing while he was waiting for his turn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that's a little. That's a, that's a, that's All a, right. Okay. Now, I was looking up the uh, grappling rules. Okay. So, what you doing? Well, since I'm not going. Oh. Uh, I mean, I can try hitting him with the hammer because I haven't done so, and it could be not could be uh, you know weak to blade or strong to blade weapons, but not to percussion weapons. I don't know. We don't so, know yet. I don't. That's what I just said. Why is anybody checking to see what these things were actually fighting? You can make a. Uh... I don't have the right skills. I can roll, but I'm well, not likely not... to actually know. <laughs> well, I'm just saying somebody who, what, what do we need, like, perception or investigate? Well, what what skill do you need? Probably knowledge or insight. Nature. Yeah, it's going to be a knowledge. I'm trying, to think of, I'm trying to think of what that would be. Uh, be knowledge. Make, a, make, a, make a straight intelligence check. Um, Wait, like, right now or on his turn? There you go. Whoever wants, yeah. Um, so you have zero metaphor. I have zero metaphor. So, yeah. Um, so you've you've seen you haven't seen these things before, but you've heard of uh, creatures like this. Uh, 
you think they have some shape shifting ability, and um, I, I just watched that. <laughs> <laughs> are are immune to certain types of damage, but we you, you don't know exactly what. Well, okay, sure. so I'm gonna hit him with a hammer. Okay. That, or not? <laughs> oh wait, no, so, I did hit him with the hammer. Never mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, okay. The hit was, so you uh, so you hit him with the hammer. Uh, he he the uh, the creature take takes the damage. Uh, looks up to you, and uh, you realize it is not making having any effect on. I but yet. All right. Mm. Well, that answers that question. No, so it's not slashing, little. blade slashing, piercing, or uh, non-burning. No, weapons. only only piercing and bludgeoning. Force. We haven't slashed him yet. Force. We have forced him. If plan A fails, plan B is just plan A with twice as much gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have all right. Uh, all right. So this guy's up. Uh, he is going to. He's going to do something. I think. Um, <laughs> I hope he's going to do something. He is going to snarl and hiss loudly. Uh, and as uh, he does, uh, you hear rustling from the, the forest. Oh no, his jammies have been rustled. <laughs> as three jackals uh, come running out of the forest. Oh, normal jackals. Some are jackass. Okay. okay. Where'd, they, where'd they get jackals? This is a temperate zone. Shush. <laughs> Maybe they migrated. Maybe that's why the ecosystem here is all fucked up. They're an invasive species. <laughs> Alright, new plan. The guys dealing physical damage. Deal with the jackals. We can handle the uh, shapeshifters. That's, that's what she said? Users. Yeah, okay. That's us magic users will deal with the shapeshift. Well, you, uh, you specifically, Belshar, are the only one who's dealt any effective damage so far. Although Galthy seems to do a good job of pinning Alexia that. Alexia did. Alexia did. Yezu would if he wasn't sucking. I didn't do damage, but I no, allow people spells. to have an easier time right. to hit. Oh, uh, okay, them. okay. All right. So one after he one dodged the spell, the other one got hit by the spell. When he after he's done snarling, uh. He is going to make a do, 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 do. He is going to stare at uh the barbarian who's grappling his friend. Oh. Um and you need to make a wisdom saving throw. I thought he was gonna do a care bear stare or something. Pretty sure that's what he did. A jackal stare. Care Bear stare down. Care Bear countdown. Um, Alright, so... You, uh, Golthy, uh, you see him um, uh, as he, you, you have this, this, this creature grappled, you, you begin to get a little weak, your eyes, your eyes begin to shut, uh, and you fall asleep and slump to the ground. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> Should have been an elf. So, so uh, this guy is no longer grappled. And Gothi is asleep. Oh, they have they all these like fancy icons I can use. Have, yeah, like have, both, have they both had their movement yet? Or? Yes. It's almost a start. It's almost the top of the round. Oh, okay, good. I got. I got some yeah. plan for him. You gonna draw a dick on Goldie's face asleep. while he's asleep? <laughs> uh, better plan. I don't see a sleep one, but uh, anyways, I'll put that one on there. That's sure. That's sleep. Um, all right. So Goldie's asleep. Um, and do 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 do. Hang on a sec. This. Turn. All right. And so we've got on through the entire round, and I'm going to sort 
running back to the correct number. All right. So, Onvir, you are up. On there. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, so did the thing cast a spell, or is it just say what? We have no or... idea if it was a spell or supernatural ability or even magical. Ability. It was. It was just an action. He. He basically. You see. You saw him look at uh, the barbarian. You saw him look at Goth- Gothi, uh, and Gothi fell asleep. Interesting. Uh, the southeastern shapeshifter, he's not grappling. Neither one is grappled right now. No, okay. but one of them Omvir, is by fairy fire. Yeah, Omvir, the one with the with the Omvir, pink dot is is fairy fired, and you have an advantage against him. Omvir, if you can deal with the jackals, I'm going to give him some nightclub. I'm shape-shifter. just going to get their sneak attack on this, unfortunately. I'm just going to stab. Stab. Do you get one attack per round or two? I want to get one. You get you, you have two weapons? I could have two weapons, but I okay, threw my dagger you... away. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Didn't um, we say you have the sickle? We could say I have the sickle, but I don't. <laughs> Neither him or me. Figure it out, guys. Fine, I have the sickle. Have a sickle. So, no so, so Walker has the 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 uh scimitar. 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 Somebody else needs to have the sickle. I'll have the sickle. That's fine. Right. All right. Okay. So you're gonna make a you're gonna make an attack with the sickle. Sure. What's that? D four. I have got to look that up. I do not. It's one D one. It's not one D one. Yeah. Call it a call it a one D. Actually, no. Call it a one D. I'm pretty sure it's a D. The sickle's a one D four. It's a one D four light weapon. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Have. Simple light. Okay. Weapon. Okay. All right. So it's a dagger, but it's make a your make your attack. It's so you now you have so you weapon. can you can probably use that as a second weapon too. So you have uh, two weapon fighting. All right. So you oh, are okay. you making both of the t- attack against the one wolf, or are you going to do unless it falls on the first one? Yeah. Okay. So uh, that's a fifteen. That hits. Check here. Yes, that hits. So r- roll your damage. That was just rolled for both already. Uh, just it, the damage for the sickle is only two, I guess, because I don't get the modifier if I recall correctly. You don't or get the modifier on the second attack. No, okay, the second so, attack. So you oh, okay. got. Wait, hang on, hang on. So you got your. So it's five damage on the first wolf, correct? Five damage on the first wolf. Yes. Okay. So you you uh, you you slash with your 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 uh, long sword or your short sword, and uh, it goes down. Very, oh, yeah, the second uh, attack will go to a different guy then. Different, different creature. The other doggo. Uh, so it's not 18 to hit, that's only a 13 to hit. 13. Or... No, no, it's still applied to the attack roll, it's damage that doesn't apply to. Oh, it's, okay, so it's only 2 damage on the second one. So it's 2 damage. Alright, so your 18 does hit, and the 2 damage, uh, it looks, when you do that, it looks very, very rough. 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 Oh, also, the, uh... Sickle, I believe, is applies. Well, it's a light weapon. Never mind. It is right, a sucks. silvered. It is a silvered sickle, not just oh. a standard sickle. Yep. Oh, okay. I don't know if this scimitar is anything special. That is important. Yeah. The the scimitar the scimitar is also silver. Oh, thank God. That is That's, a very important this thing. It's very important. <laughs> That that would be why I I wondered who had these weapons because it made no sense for the small <laughs> gnome to grab e- or the small halfling to grab either. <laughs> I mean, nice. he could use the sickle, but it'd be a short sword for him. <laughs> All right, fire hands. All right, uh, uh, so you're you're fine. done. All right, so let's see, he is dead. Uh, all right, Yezu, you're up. Oh, right. right. Fire. Fire at the one near Golfy. Fire! Okay. Fucking hell. Now you have a you have a 1d6 inspiration you can use if you Hold want. Hold on. You, you think a 7's going to hit it? Oh, yeah. And you, oh, oh wait. And you, and you have an advantage. 
You have advantage. You have advantage All on right. that one. So go ahead and roll it. Roll it again. Is that because? Uh, wow. Jesus Christ. Christ. And, and, and if you want to use your inspiration, you can. So roll a one d six if you want to. If you want to. I ser- I seriously doubt it'll make a difference. Oh, maybe you can save it then. When I hurt it, you know, when I hurt to try. Even on a it, even on a perfect roll, that's still only going to go up to fourteen. That's your call. You want to or not? No, I don't want to. Okay. All right. So you fire another bolt. Uh, it flies past uh, the uh, creature um, and striking the same tree. You struck four <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> Area throws down Par- her violin apparently, and walks away. Apparently, you really, really, really hate that tree. <laughs> this is a very, this is a very expensive computer. But if these were dice, I would have just thrown them through the wall. <laughs> Our, and no, no. At this point, you, this is a, at this point, you get a new D twenty. <laughs> Our noble yep. no warlock is a rather bad shot. Uh, and 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 this, this right here is why I roll my own die. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, this random die rolls in a computer are based on your system clock. So if you can determine exactly how that equation works, you could actually get perfect <laughs> rolls every time. <laughs> um, all right. So you're that's your you're good. You're done. Yeah. Okay. So your system clock hates you. He just sits there. And all right. So the uh, the jackal that is next to on beer is going to make a bite attack. Uh, against him. That is a stab him in the side with his suckles. Yeah, that is a nineteen to hit. Oh, that hit. All right, it's, it's a one d four. You now have rabies. <laughs> That's going to be three damage. Whee! Uh, three, three piercing damage. Oh. And he's okay. not raging because he's asleep. Because well, no, that's against Onvir. Get yeah, raged up. Oh, rogues sorry. don't range. God help thought, us if rogues that. could rage. <laughs> rogue rage. Barbarian rogue rogue. rogues could rage. Would you get yeah. sneak attack during a rage, though? <laughs> no, see that that's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to go to a I'd like to go to a frenzied rage and sneak attack. <laughs> well, hey, no. as long as you have an adjacent like adjacent enemy of your target, that's yeah, fine. technically sneak attack. Yeah, I know, but like, like you, I, I'm just thinking a a frenzied, frenzy barbarian assassinate tree. <laughs> so you get a crit crit roll on your on your first attack, and you get two other attacks after that. No, I mean rogues rogues get multiple attack any, attacks anyway. So uh, kind of reminds me of a uh, half orc uh, half orc rogue I saw one time that used intimidate instead of uh, stealth. Yeah. He, just ro- he just walked up to people. You know, see Grog. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> um, all right. So he would- is not going to move. He's gonna. He's gonna continue chewing on your leg. Uh, all right, Valshor. It it would be kind of uh, cool to do a a uh, prestige class of a rogue that uh, is cold fury, right? Raging and backstabbing. Raging backstabbing. <laughs> I <laughs> would. I'd like to know if I can do some sort of uh, perception check to see how injured the uh, the shapeshifter is that I hit. So, so just make it. That would be an investigate. I think that would be an investigate. There's actually a. Yeah. Perce- so perception is broad, kind of looking for something in the area. Investigate is more on a focused focused thing. Okay. So I could do that before I attack. Yeah, I mean you can do that as a free action. Okay. So you're talking about the one that's engaged with Renault? Uh, yes. I'm okay. trying to find. I don't see investigate on there. I see. Uh, it should be there. Insight. I see. Should be like right below. It's below intimidation. Yeah. It's too below inv- insight. Right above medicine. <laughs> Maybe you know, my sheet my sheet seems to be fucked up because it doesn't even have Oh there it is. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get him Scoobs. Uh so so he, he looks he, he looks he looks uh not not quite bloodied. Seriously? Fuck. Let's 
Not bad, actually. Not quite bloody means he's almost you, half. You guys really haven't done much damage to him. Oh, yeah. You're the only one that's hit him. Yeah, I hit him yeah. for eight. No, but, you're but, the only but, one who's right. quite bloody damage to him. What was that, like, almost half? So, so bloody, bloodied means they're below half. Okay. So he's he's not quite there, but he's getting there. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's switch it up. I'm going to throw sleep at both. Well, you can only throw sleep at one of them. No, I can throw sleep at both of them. It, sleep it, sleep it, is it, an area of effect. effect. Yeah, it's area of effect. Oh, it is? Yep. Yep. It's a, it's a specific number of hit dice, though. Yeah. So if, if, it ex- if the number of monsters exceeds the number of hit dice, only that many of hit dice can fall asleep. So I, uh, so I just hit the button here, and it's going to calculate this? Might... Hang on one sec. Uh, sleep, which is basically you're just casting it in the area, and they roll saving throws. Yeah, That's it's, it. it's anything within 20 feet of a point that I cast on. Right. Both these are already asleep, so you're good there. Right, if you have any extra hit dice, just give them to him. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> where where are you casting this then? Um, how do I right right there? Yeah, whoever clicked. Yeah. Is it twenty foot radius or twenty foot diameter? Twenty foot. See, radius. that's that's the thing. It's not. It doesn't explain that very well. It's twenty feet of creatures that within says... 20, 20 feet of a point you right. choose within the range are affected in ascending order of their current hit points. That sounds like radius. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. a radius. That's a radius. <clears throat> okay. All right. So. Um. So I just, I guess, I click the button here on sleep, and we'll see. Oh, it killed so us all. Where, where are you casting it first? You see my. Um, where, what, what Trav is showing at that point. Okay. So the center right. point. So it'll hit it'll hit both of the wolves, but it won't hit. Okay, all right. Or both the shapeshifters. So you're That's going to roll a you're going to roll five d eight. Five d eight. Uh, that didn't do anything. Uh. I'll do it manually. I think Fuck. that's correct, isn't it? Five d eight. That yeah. was not as high as I wanted it to be. Not really, no. That's below average almost every roll. All right, so... Sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's completely different. Stanks, don't it? Okay. Well, All I right. mean, yes and no. Because if it's if you've beaten something that's very powerful down, you can now affect it because it has no it doesn't matter how many hit dice it has, it only matters how many hit points it has. Yeah. Right. So All this right. guy so over here happens. is is asleep. Oh, cool. Oh, so it I all... did get one of them. Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. You got one of them. It, it also uh has the benefit of of uh, growing in power as you level up, or being capable of being growing in power anyway. Mm, right. Two of the party are completely immune to. It. Yeah. yeah, and, and ev- eventually it will it will kind of it has some some. But well, anyways, yeah. All right, so yeah, that's your turn. Uh, so Walker, drop my up. bow. Pull out my scimitar the, and short sword. The one right. with uh, Golfy, right? Is the one as a no, the one no. with Renault. Oh, okay. The one that Golfi has uh, has um, uh, very fire. Very fire. <clears throat> gotcha. All right, I'm gonna. So attack. Walker, you're attacking with the what? I have a scimitar and short sword drawn. I'm gonna use the scimitar first as my main attack. Okay. You remember, you do have advantage. Yay. Yep. So go ahead and roll your attack. Hmm, I think I'm taking the 22. Nah. Yep. So, uh, 22 hits. So roll your damage. It's 1d6 for your scimitar. Alright. So, uh, as you go to strike with the scimitar, uh, 
the moment it hits 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 the creature, you hear it. It, it screams in pain. Um, yeah. And and you see the gash it leaves behind. Um, is is almost like it's it's like it's it's almost like sizzling. Uh, from 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 being heated. Um, Mm-mm-mm. toasty. Fuck him up, Walker. I want to follow up with the short sword. Uh, to an, All right. To an attack. So you're attacking with a short sword? Yes. Okay. I think you still get an advantage on Mm-hmm. You do. I think the 20 hits regardless. Yep. <laughs> 20 hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. All right, so you come back around after hitting it, hitting it. It's it's sitting there, just hissing, ah, pain, and and you come around and and slash at it with your uh, with your short short sword, uh, and it doesn't really any react any differently. It it's still in pain from the original hit, but the slash you see uh, that you made uh, begins to just kind of uh, stitch back up as soon as, as soon as you draw away. So no effect. Damn, I should have right. both of them. All right, so do all right. So this guy wanted to do something. What is he going to do? He is going to look at Walker after, you know, uh, after he's, he's, he's hit him, uh, and he's going to look, look in his eyes, and you need to make a wisdom saving throw. We can do that shit more than once. This is the other one. Uh, no. the, first, the first one that did it was the one that's now asleep. Okay. No, so he got hit by karma. You, uh, you, you, you see this this thing staring at you, and and um, you begin. You feel like you feel like this wave of sleep is beginning to wash over you, and as you do, you kind of shake your head, and and you you stand back up, and it, and it doesn't have any effect on you. I yawn. So I I do a yawn, and then instead of finishing the yawn, I spit in his face. <laughs> no, you you do a yawn, but it's like a really mocking yawn. There we go. <laughs> it's a so really it just, mocking it just... yawn followed by a spit in his face. <laughs> it it. Looks at you and growls in frustration and 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 hisses at you. Well, that's um, just un- I can't I can't respond to that yet. And that's just unhygienic, man. It is. <laughs> it is. That is its turn. So Reno, you're up. And right. so the creature in front of you is asleep. Uh, so I can't remember how that works. If you get, I don't remember if you get crit damage on that automatically or not. Uh, what? He uh, hits it. It does wake it up, though. That's correct. You should switch your weapon with Onvirs. Oh, no. I have a better idea. But first, let's get rid of the other wolf thing. That also works. Yeah, deal with the puny wolves. Yep. If you're, uh, if you're just basic, man. Yeah, don't, don't break the mage's crowd control. Okay. Yes. God, I swing at the wow. jackal thing. Ma- it's a jackal. It's straight up a jackal. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So you come down. Um. What do you? You have like a, a warhammer, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. So you come down with a warhammer right on the on the on the jackal's head, and it um you just you just brain it, and it, it is uh it is it is a dead jackal. And so it, it goes right, like a children. And, and you, you see, uh, you hear it just kind of whimper a little bit, and then it is dead. Just killing them puppies. Killing All right. them puppies. Uh, Ariel, you're up. All right. I'm going to move up my full movement, which is 35. Just... All right, here. Because reasons. Because things. And uh, actually, no. Wait, this one's dead. Yes. Oh, okay, let me this... mark it. Sorry. 
Okay, I won't yeah. run all the way up. I'll stop right up here, short of. Okay. And I will aim my light crossbow at the wolf right next to Anvir and try to shoot right in the head. Okay. Right, so make a, make a ranged attack. Looking for my weapon. There it is. That nice. hits. A roll for damage. Yep. Uh, you hit it, and hit it instead. It goes flying. You know, falls backwards. Uh, it is uh, very much dead. All right. So, are you inspiring anyone? Uh, Yuzu so has inspiration on him. Mm -hmm. I will inspire the um the other mage because we we need to get these heads going okay. on these guys because they're pretty Ooh. tough. So Bowser has inspiration now. I'll bring the right. pain. I give you guys a little icon for inspiration. And I will spend two of my points because I spent one on Yezu there. Okay. So both Yezu and Balshor have inspiration. All right. Uh, Gothi, you are asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, next is Whittle. Wait, and, don't I have to wake up? Uh, I don't think you can break sleep. Someone has to wake Certainly you up. Like uh, yeah, someone has to wake you up. If Wacker kicked you in the side, it would count as an attack. Hold on, let me check. Kick it as an improvised attack, and that would wake you up. You fall asleep for 10 minutes, or you fall asleep for 10 minutes, or until someone uses an action to shake the target awake. Ugh. Sorry, too busy killing. All right, so... Uh, but I got a good Whittle, attack for this one. Whittle is going to run up uh, out of the back, uh, sees you fall asleep, uh, oh, and is going to uh, slap you around a little bit to wake you up. Yo, don't awesome. sleep on the job, man! Oh, shit, he booked it, huh? Oh, yeah. He was in trees this whole time. So he is is you are no longer no longer awake. No you longer asleep. asleep. Excellent. You're no longer awake. You are now dead. You you are no longer no longer awake. All right. All right. So you do. All right. So he is asleep. Uh he is dead. <laughs> All right, Onvir. Okay. Oh, he's both dead too. Okay. You got any silver weapons? Yes. Yeah, so yep. Sickle. Gonna stab him with a sickle. You mean slice him up? Oh, and the sneak attack. Shit, I forgot. What the... You yeah. also have you an advantage, by the way. You have advantage. Oh, uh, you have advantage already, so you get so you get sneak attack damage as well. Well, I'll roll a second time just so you can see what the sneak attack. Oh shit! So I turned on advantage after. So the second time is actually a seven, but uh, the sneak attack is sixteen. Should be fine. Two. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm hit or so so you you don't you don't roll for your sneak attack damage though. Like you don't roll an attack for your sneak attack. Your your sixteen no. you would get your damage and your sneak attack damage. Yes. 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 Right. Okay. So you did six damage total. Yes. Okay. So you come in with the silvered silvered sickle, and much like the uh, scimitar, the scimitar, you come through, and it, as soon as it hits it, it screams in pain and leaves a uh, an almost burning uh, uh, path in in as you attack it, and it it is looking very rough. Wish I had silver coins. I just. Blow the crossbow. I'm not even gonna bother stabbing it with the other thing because I don't think it's gonna. Do and you technically do have a ta uh, advantage against it, but you rolled a, I guess, a sixteen and a seven. So, okay. I'll tell you uh, what, I'll, I'll, I'll follow up with the short sword attack, even though no, it's not gonna do. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. That's a proper, and that doesn't even hit. I don't think. Okay. So, you you go to slash this your short sword, and it it does not have any effect. 
Okay. Yep. Uh, and Yezu, you're up. Maybe I should aim at the tree this time. <laughs> uh, let's aim at the the one over by Reno. It looks less crowded. No, no, no. He's asleep. Don't he's asleep. Him. What? Okay. He's that asleep. one. <laughs> sure. Other one. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Tony, there uh, you go. All right. I don't think so... critical hits are valid on these this attack, though. Oh. Uh... Why not? If, it's it's a, a if it requires a rolled attack, it does count. Yeah. 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 You, okay. you, you, get double di- you still get double damage. You're rolled a roll damage roll attack. Yeah, roll you, don't damage. Get, you don't get critical attack on um, things where you make a deck save or a. Okay, save so like do, you roll, um, do you roll 2d10 or roll 1d10 and then double it? 2d10. 2D10. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, look at that. Four damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's far away enough. At least I hope. All right. Um, Four damage so, rare than one hacky. Somebody so it, got it, to eat their wheaties this morning. It uh, it is it is it hit you hit it with with the the blast. Um, it 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 almost loses its, its footing. It is um, it looks like it's it is on its absolute last legs. This kind of reminds me of a picture I saw the other day that says some days are okay and some days you feel like the only dog at a llama orgy. I <laughs> What? I, saw that. I don't get it, but I saw that. Okay, that's disturbing. There was a picture. Uh, the... Okay. Uh, Balshor. Don't worry, Yezu. I got this as I roll up my <laughs> sleeves. <laughs> that, uh, since the other one's asleep and it's just, just the two of them, uh, I'm, the just gonna fire, them? Uh, I'm just going to throw a firebolt yeah. at the at uh, how do I how do I do the target? Oh, that thing. Yeah, that. I was gonna say, there's a lot of things you can do. You just uh, hold do... down, do hold that. down the left click when you're uh, when you have the uh, arrow yeah, selector yeah. on. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 and you have an advantage on that one. How, how do I how do I factor that? You just roll uh, for advantage. You roll two d twenties. Yeah, Trav oh. has a special macro for it. I have, I have a character 25. sheet. If you have the actual character sheet, it's already all macroed in. And you just only have to, yeah, click, just to on click on it. it. Yeah. I rolled a twenty-five. So you crit. Um, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, That's how it's done. Ages. So, so you roll a crit, and so you roll. Go ahead and roll your damage, and you'll ro- you'll double your dice. Uh, so one d ten. So you'll two, do two d two d ten. Wait, so Rival does d ten. Oh damn! Uh, All right. Uh, so you you hit it with a firebolt. Um, you see it strike it in its chest. It it gets thrown backwards, and it is uh it is dead. Laying on the ground, smoldering a little bit. Obliterated. Well, not quite, not, not, not quite obliterated. You would have to, you would have had to do enough damage to to, to double its uh its its, its health oh, okay. to obliterate it. So there is a he's, there is a thing well in cooked. nice try, Exodia. So, the, so there is a thing in 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 D anD D where if you take double your your hit points and damage. Uh, you are you are instantly dead. There is no death saving throw. Yeah, uh, if how dead. if Anvir took twenty points right now, right? <laughs> you did. Um, no, you'd have to. You you only have ten hit points. Yep. Is that right? Or is yep. It, is it, I only yeah. have eleven. Maximum okay. is it's maximum hit die first level plus con mod. My con mod's only two, and my hit no, die I'm, is eight. Is is it is it? I thought it had you had to dip double your hit die oh, yeah. below zero to go yeah, under. You have to go That's right. Oh, if you go yeah, negative, you have to go, you have to go, you have to go negative. You have to go nev. You have to go negative double your hit points and yeah. you die instantly. So you'd yeah, have to take thirty means. damage. Thirty points. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that bad. Um, it's still pretty bad. All right. So, so before, before mm-hmm. we start wailing on the last guy that's asleep, may I offer a suggestion? I was just gonna Please. tie him up. Yeah, these guys are these guys are intelligent 
they've obviously already spoken to us. Uh, we should totally tie them up and interrogate. All right. Need rope? I got rope. And I got block and tackle. We can string them up. I got Sounds good. Sword. We can use two of those da uh, flasks to douse them in oil and threaten them. I, I got a better idea. Let's tie it. <laughs> let's string him up. And uh, just just put that scimitar point up underneath him. So as soon as he falls, he's going to hurt. I don't think that's how scimitars work. Oh, yeah, they do. They got points. And trust me, it, it's going to hurt just as bad when he slides down that blade. I'm more concerned about this. I'm more concerned about the health of the scimitar. Eh, it'll be all right. It's metal. M yeah, metal's of hardness. Anyway, so so can we tie him up at the very least? Uh, be my guess. Gizmo, will you, allow you, you can. Um, I, I guess if 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 we're if we're if you're doing this, basically you're uh, you're advancing combat essentially to the next thing that happens because you're not. You're not taking turn, taking rounds at this point. Yeah. yeah. So a as you are going to tie him up, um, you hear a rustling uh, behind you. Oh. Um, and uh, a a wild something appears. A Pikachu. Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> a wild, a wild thing appears. A a nether creature. Uh, Uh, another creature jumps jumps out of the uh, out of the forest and engages uh, with Reno. Surprise! Hooray! See, this is why I didn't use my psychic blast because I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> and engages with Reno, and his blade and bounces him. off. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, you would have only had to fight two <laughs> if if the party was smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but because you've got like fucking seven people <laughs> and an NPC that's, that's assistant he, we, we all get to go before he does so he's gonna he's gonna die in a fire here just, just, right, don't, so, just don't fuck up our roles <laughs> um, alright so let's see I have top of the top of the, top of the order so, I feel, all right, I feel so like we're gonna even... We're going to resort everything because we're basically, like, essentially, we advance to to the third round of combat. So, Onvir, you're up up first. I have a question. Talk about all the dogs. I have a question. Uh, hang on. These guys get a surprise round. I guess technically, these guys get a surprise round. Well, that one probably. I guess. I guess that one. Yeah. Does. So he would he would get a surprise round because you guys didn't know he was there. All right. So. Uh, he jumps out on you know and makes a uh, makes a scimitar attack against you. Uh, that is a do do do. That is a twenty to hit. That'll hit. All right, so that's gonna be. All I see is the two, so I was like, God, oh, that ain't gonna possibly hit. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be a one d six. Oh wow! Uh, okay, uh, so that's three damage. Hooray! <laughs> yeah. He rolled a one on his on his uh, yeah, uh, damage roll. <laughs> All right. So my question right. is, what kind of action is it to give someone a weapon? Uh, a move. I would say, and you could do it in a move action. So you can, can do it as part of a move action. Yeah. So yeah. can Onvir take the just like you off could... my hands as part of his movement action? So you yeah. can attack twice with the silver. Uh huh. Yeah, probably. Kick his ass, bro. Alright. Uh, so I'll use my item manipulation to sheath the short sword. Grab the sickle. Scimitar. You already have the sickle. Scimitar over there. Yeah. Uh, is that also a d Uh, The scimitar yeah, is the same it's as the short sword in stats. It just yeah. deals slashing instead of piercing. Oh, okay. Oh, it also weighs one pound more. Oh, yeah, now you're encumbered. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> the scimitar has uh, the same to hit values and the same damage as your short sword. Okay. <laughs> Isn't silver a lighter me metal though? It's silvered. Yeah, no, but a scimitar is a heavier weapon. <laughs> it's not a silver blade. It's silver plated. Yeah. Yep. 
Oh, damn, it does make a difference. It is silvered. A pure silver weapon would be too soft to actually be useful. Yep. Yeah. All right. I mean, so well, you get to attack against uh, this dude, uh, and you would get it. Do you get advantage? You get sneak attack damage. I get sneak attack damage. I don't think you get advantage, though. No. I don't think so. Advantage is gone. Fuck. Um, well, at least you hit with that one. So yeah. your, your scimitar, you come in, uh, don't quite, he dodges, dodges out of the way, blocks, blocks your attack, uh, the sickle comes around, and you make an, make an attack on, on him, and come around and make, and make a good hit. He screams like the others have, uh, having that silver bite into into him. He takes nine points of damage, Ooh-hoo. and he is looking. He is bloodied. All right, and so that's your turn. Yep. All right, Yezu, you're up. All right, the werewolf dude or werejackal dude has to make a wisdom thirteen will save, wisdom save. Ooh. Which one? The one that Andre just just hit? Yeah. So DC 13 wisdom save. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's making that. Uh, that would be a big old three. <laughs> he takes he takes 11 psychic damage and has to move as far away from me as he can during his movement. All right. Well, well, that's that's all well and good. Um, but his brain just exploded. Like I, I was gonna say, I think his head his head just exploded and he just goes slumped to the he just slumps to the ground. Hmm. His corpse well, starts running that? in the opposite direction. How about that, you fire bastard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. not close enough to hear me say anything. Sorry. So, uh, so, all right. So now you guys are taking care of the last one. Um, we continue our task have, of tying him up. Perception, have check. Perception checks. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So as you guys go to tie right. up. Again? <laughs> this uh, this um. No, no, I use mage hand. I'm gonna use mage hand, so I can be extra subtle about. What? <laughs> be extra subtle. No, keep your mage hands away, damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, can, I use, can I use mage hand? He has magic fingers. I do have magic fingers. <laughs> So, so as as you're tying tying him up, uh, you get him get him tied up, um, and as you do, you see suddenly just popping into existence in front of you, uh, what looks like you know as a fairy dragon. Um. um hey Ariel, do, you just look familiar. You know someone? She she this this fairy dragon kind of flitters around. Um, do you? Does anyone speak Draconic or Sylvan? I do. Yes. Right. Negative. What Sylvan? <laughs> Probably the elves. Uh, uh no. Eh, Sylvan's a very particular Elvish. language. Uh, I. Oh, do. I do have Sylvan. Uh, yeah. I, oh, look at you. I, 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 am draconic, I speak Sylvan as well. I have Draconic ancestry. I can speak it fluently. Seems fair. Okay. So, um, you see that you see this 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 fairy dragon. Pop out and 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 he, she uh, introduces herself and 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 kind of flits around around to each one of you, um, extremely excited. Um, and 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 she says, uh, I, "I can't believe you! I can't believe you did it! I can't believe you did it! I can't believe you did it! You you killed them! You killed them! They've been here forever." But. But they've been they've been they've been they've been they've been killing people. They've been driving people off. I've been trying to keep them out. I've been trying to keep them out. I've been trying to get them get them not coming. I, come I into, try to in, calm into... her down, I'm and so I introduce I myself. I introduce myself <laughs> and Selvin. I also let the so, yeah, she, that she, she is very excited that we were able to um, disable. <laughs> Go I ignore her. So those she, those she, of us that do not you speak ignore language me here. Hey, listen. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Listen! God damn it! <laughs> so she says, "There's a whole, there's a whole clan of these things in 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 the forest, but you can't find them. They're 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 huge. They're uh they're they're spread out all over the woods. But but these these were the ones that were that were that were really hurting people and and keeping keeping people out. 
you'll have to you'll have to have an army to come in and clear all these other uh, other jackalwares out. They they they've been Are they've you... been here forever. Um, try to translate what she's saying as she's speaking and if there's a pause and 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 she 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 kind of flits and she says come with me come with me there's a woman there's a woman at the at, at, at the at the at the spring come 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 on come on i uh, follow the dragon and uh grab the what's people his face that... and be like yo found your wife follow this <laughs> hey listen <laughs> hey hey listen please stop um I'm gonna so, follow you. Uh, I don't want to leave our. Uh, I know our, our new friend. friend. Who wants to watch him? Not it. I'm gonna let you guys. I literally well, said I was I mean, grabbing him and pushing him to follow the. Yeah, yeah, we've got oh, the, we've got him tied up, so we just drag him along. Oh, just no, kill him, Fox. Oh, and it, it, as, as you guys are doing that, she she looks at, she looks over and and she sees. What are you doing? Why do you have that? Why do you have them? What are you doing? They, don't keep them alive. We They're not going to tell you anything. She, she can't. They can't speak. They don't. They don't. They won't speak to you. They're feral. Okay. They already when spoke I to coup us. de gras. I immediately coup de gras. Oh, well. Uh, well. <laughs> 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 so yeah. So you get an automatic crit, anyways. Uh, well, I guess I get to keep my rope. So it does. Yeah. It doesn't do anything because he's using a short sword. Let's just pretend that clip. Well, no, I gave him both of the silver weapon. No, no, <laughs> yeah, so, no. He, so does, he, does uh, he cuts him. He cuts his head off like Anakin did to Count Dooku. <laughs> so yeah, you you scissor his heads off. Head off. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he is he is dead. I just hear um, a fade dragon go kill it, kill it now. Okay, it's just lean over and kill it. <laughs> I'm just imagining I'm like um, finishing the knots and I'm tying him in, and suddenly you just come in and cut his head off. And I'm just like, <laughs> gee, thanks, um, asshole. <laughs> And she said to kill it. I uh, pointed at the fairy dragon. Go. She said to kill it. So I man, apparently looks, I look at you. I look at you one, like I'm just you? like you, I, just, I look at you in somewhat unbelieving tones. But I just start packing up my rope. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as you guys as you guys go up, um, you see uh, a woman laying uh, in a patch of moss, uh, moss right next to the uh, right near the spring of, of blessed life. Um, Real glad he didn't say patch of wasps. Was. So, what would you guys, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I gestured over to uh, Widow. I'll check up on her. Like, is that her? Okay. Um, make. Uh, how about medicine? I'm yeah, make, go a, make a here. make a medicine check, and you see Whittle. You see Whittle. Uh, you see Whittle run over to her. Um, I medicine her. I like yeah. to make, uh, assist <laughs> I medicine, the medicine the shit you, out of her. Med- medicine the shit out of her. You you <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> uh, wow, he looks uh, he looks a Whittle happy about that. Right. Oh. Question, question. <laughs> do you have a medical kit? Yes. Oh. I just make sure because while you can like treat injuries and stuff, you still have to have the uh, resources to do so. So, um, she, you, uh, you get her her back up and up and awake, um, and and she, and she sees her husband, and they they embrace, and they're talking off in the corner. And um, the fairy dragon introduces herself as Zook, um, and directs you over to a small cache of treasure uh, that she's been collecting over the years. Um, and so there's about a hundred gold gold worth of trinkets, baubles, and coins, um, and there is a scroll of comprehend languages. Um, that she also lets you have. And she says, if you drink the water, it may help you guys the next time you have to fight something. I drink water? the water. Oh, this water. I will drink the water. Okay, we're just going to take that on faith. Right. I will let everybody else drink the water first. I take a flat. I, I see if I, I check for an empty flask in my inventory. Well, actually, I fill my water let's, let's, use, let's use some sense here. I, I will uh, use my holy sense first. And no, then too I late. You all get dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, the, the water, uh, my holy faith is, or holy, holy sense is not going to prevent me from getting dysentery. <laughs> you, you, you know that with your holy sense that um, that as long as you are a non, if you, as long as you are not evil, uh, you will get some type of small boon from this drinking this water. Yeah, it does. Fantastic. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, my uh. Walker checks his uh checks his um let's see his character sheet. 
Oh, I think I am good. All right, we're good. <laughs> uh, Anvir's gonna dip his hands in and, and drink from the. All right. So is everyone drinking, or are some of you not drinking? Yeah, yeah sure. I'm drink. drinking, and I filled my water skin with some of the water. Okay. I take a sip. Um, give it a taste. See how it is. All right. So anyone who it takes like a drink. Pepper. <laughs> so everyone who drinks uh, from the spring, uh, you can take a inspiration. What does that mean? Yeah, at least I'm not so, bathing in it. So ins- what inspiration does is uh, basically you can use that at any point in time to gain advantage on a roll. So does that mean I have two inspiration now? No. So so it's inspiration. So inspiration from a uh, bard. I don't know why they did this, but inspiration from inspiration die from a, from a bard is different than inspiration. Um, just straight up inspiration is gives you an advantage. Um, hmm. uh, inspiration die from a bard bard lasts twenty minutes. Inspiration yep. uh, ad, for advantage can last. You can keep on hang on to that for as long as you need. It. It's a lot easier just to differentiate by saying inspiration and bardic inspiration. Sure, bardic inspiration. And they and really should have come up with different names for that. <laughs> Right? Where do we, where oh, do we where? write this down on our sheet? Maybe. There's actually a mark in. There's actually a spot in uh in in rolled in uh D and D Beyond D and D Beyond for the inspiration. Where? Oh, it's nice at walking speed. I see it. <clears throat> it's kind of a, it should be like a toggle, I think. Yep. I think the yep. inspiration picture looks a little bit like this dude bowing his head in defeat with arrows full of him. <laughs> 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 bowing or just lying there? Uh, okay. So, um, she also notes, uh, let's see. Yeah, you get your inspiration. All right, so let's do do experience real quick. Yeah, because uh, I was going to say I'd like to go to bed shortly. Yep, yep. All right, so. I need to take a long rest. rest. Uh, not here. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, at the, at the fountain is probably the most likely place to take a long yeah. rest. Yeah. And the middle of the woods, we were just told, is full of these where <laughs> where a pregnant <laughs> woman has been jackals. sitting for how long? <clears throat> Hours. Plus, least. we got the we got the dragon nearby to warn us if anything comes along. Well, I guess so. Whatever. Let's just do experience, so I can go have a long rest. <laughs> no. You sure are good at murder. So each of you get. Uh, 83 experience. Yay. Yay, level up. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. So we have, should have 304. So that should probably level 314. you guys up to level 2. It does. Level up. Yes. So what happens now? Well, we have to wait till. The well, a long rest. If you do a long rest, yeah. you can level up. If you don't yeah. do a long rest, you can't level up until you do a long rest. Yeah. So next, next, next long rest, you can take your take your level. Um, I expended most of my spells and abilities in this fight. So. How so many? How many? Uh, how much experience was that we just gained? Eighty one. Eighty three. Uh, Eighty three. Eighty three. We at three fourteen now. So <clears throat> here's what I was going to suggest, and and this is going to happen over the next few weeks, because we've got I've got um, two more kind of sections of this mm-hmm. we can do. Um, after that, um, I've got some ideas of what I would like to do. Um, and so if everybody kind of likes the character you guys have made, uh, if you want to stick with that character, and then create a backstory for it um, and kind of flesh that character out a little bit more. Uh, we can do that. And and I, what I would like to do is sit down with each one of you kind of individually and go through that backstory and try to get some information. Awesome. It doesn't, nece- it doesn't necessarily have to be it. The only thing I don't want to do is I don't want you guys to have such a, like a elaborate backstory that it pigeonholes everything. I'm more talking yeah. uh, framework. So then I can 
look at that and look at what I'm doing and then be able to come back to you guys and say, okay, how does this work X, Y, Z? And that way I can start kind of integrating some of those kind of things into some things that I would, I'm planning to do down the road. Awesome. Okay. Um, <clears throat> want to make a new character? So if you don't want to, if you want to make a new character, then make a new character, same thing, come up with your backstory fame, framework type thing. Um, take the experience you you will have gained with this character, transfer that to, to your new character. So you will, so everybody will be on okay, basically the same playing field. Um, <clears throat> so that's, that's what I was thinking instead of starting over. Um, I thought it would be fun to have start up, up a little bit, a little bit higher level. Um, so I dig it. Okay. That was, that was the plan anyways. Um, yeah, and and what I'm thinking, and and if you guys, after the these these sections, and if you guys think that this is not really what you guys want to do, if it's not really fitting what you guys want, um, that's that's cool. It's it's your 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 call. Um, if you guys want to stick around, cool, that's fine. Um, and we'll we'll figure out from there. But my thought is, I want to sit down once we get closer to that point. Yeah. Um, maybe in a couple of weeks. Then. So. There's like I said, there's probably we'll probably have two more weeks of this is my guess, um, and then after that, probably a little bit of a break, um, so I can sit down with everybody and have some uh, set up some some stuff, um, and can have a have a some lead and stuff. And I don't know that I'm going to be necessarily running a particular module. Uh, it will be in Faerun. It'll be somewhere in Faerun. And once I have an idea of where it's going to be in Faerun, I will give you guys an idea of where we're going to. What area of fire room we're going to be starting? Um, so, with that in mind, it would be easier if you guys are creating characters that are generally from that area, because obviously, if we're talking about you know having the start in Hills Far and you're you're from Waterdeep, that's going to be kind of a hard thing to say. Well, why the hell are you in Hills Far when you're you know? Several thousand miles away from where you you started. I mean, if that's what you really want to do, but there's going to have to be have, have to be some reasoning for that. So, um, so you're saying no under deep characters. Got it. Um, uh, not necessarily. I mean, it, <laughs> there could be there could be under dark characters, but there, it's no, no, no. I said under deep. Under under deep. Yep, those are the uh, no creatures elephants. of the under dark in the ocean. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I wanted to be a cuttlefish. Uh, uh, guys, I'm going to have to bow out, so... All right, Trevor. Good night. I have a tank of gentle cuttlefish. Uh, Underdeep is like your uh, uh, Kuatoa and uh, Mike. So my, yeah, my next character is going to be a Deep One hybrid. Got it. Yay! Yeah, Jesus Christ. Um, Don't worry. I, I'll be reasonable. Oh, my only got to work with you. So anyways, but that's that's where I'm... I'm, I'm going with if you guys want to say scrap it if you guys want to keep your characters 